Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, and I'm a legal technologist. And today we're going to talk about projects. Projects is a way that WorldDocs has of organizing things. Now, it's great at organizing things by very broad strokes, client, matter, document type. What if you want to get more specific? What if you want to save something you know, in a different way that will... For instance, maybe you have a whole bunch of documents that are in different matters, mm -hmm. but they all need to be pulled together for some certain purpose. Or e even better, what if you have a little subset of documents within a matter and you just want to pull that subset together? Mm -hmm. Projects are the way to do that. Can you show us how that works? I sure can. So to start a project, and before you can save the project, you need to be in a file list that has at least some of the documents that you want in the project. As you'll see in a minute, we can then move around and add more, and when we're done, we can save it. So I'm going to start by going to the training materials. We're going to pretend hypothetically that we have, oh, three or four training documents that are part of a rewrite project, and so we're pulling them together in a rewrite project. So I'm going to start in training and support, and I'm going to open up this project tab. You'll see that it's empty, and it tells you you can drag files from above and drop them here to create a project. You can also simply mark files, so I'll mark a couple files and choose Add, and then I maybe will pick one more file and just drag it down there. Now let's pretend there's one other file that's not in this list. Again, you get to that list, a list, that would have that file. And, and again, you can do this any way. You could use find, you can use direct access, it could be coming from your favorite files. It doesn't matter how you get there. So I'm going to go into the Purdue Law Matter file. And I'm just going to pick a document from there. Well, actually, I need to be patient enough that when I type Purdue, I wait for it to get there. There we go. And I'm going to pick oh, any file from there, and I'm just going to drag it down there. So I have now taken four files, three from one location, one from another, pulled them together, and now all I have to do is save as. When you save a project, you're actually creating another document, if you will. It's, it's a special type of document called a WorldDocs document list, and you can put it somewhere. You take your project and you put it in a folder or in a, in a profile group. So I'm going to put this one away in the user profile group for P. Purdue, and I'm going to call it the uh, training rewrite project, and you don't have to have project in the name. I just am. And I'm going to say it's a miscellaneous document type, and I'm going to save it. It tells you that it's saved it as this document, but it's going to put it here. I don't, I've don't. i often wondered why it tells you this. Of course, this is giving you the document ID, and it's indicating that it's a WDL file, which is a special extension that's used to designate a WorldDocs document list. Now when I go back, and I'm going to go ahead and close this, and you'll see now that my project area is empty. And now if I go back to the user directory that uh, I saved this in for P. Purdue, one of the things that's going to be in there is this project. Now, I didn't have to go back there. It would show up in my favorite files. It would show up in a search. If I searched for the word training rewrite, I would find it. If I went to favorite files, because it's recent, I would find it. Or I used direct access to get to this user profile group for P. Purdue, and there it is. And if I double-click it, it pulls it up. Now the thing is, if I double click it, it pulls it up here, but what if I want to add something to it? Well, I'm just going to go back to that user profile group for P. Purdue, and instead of double clicking it, I'm going to go to project, and I'm going to go to edit. And that still pulls it in down here, but it pulls it in down here in a way that WorldDocs then knows that I want to edit this project. So that's important to know. If you just double click on the project and you want to add a document to it, that's not the best way to do it because that's going to put it in a, a regular file list as opposed to down here in the project pane where you can add a file among other things. So again, if I'm going to add a file, let's just go to my favorites and we'll pick an email that I wrote this morning and I'll drag it down there. And now I've added a fifth document. 
total of five. And when I save as, because I opened up the project for editing, it'll now ask, do I want to save as a new project or do I want to replace a project? And I'm just going to replace the one. I was just adding a fifth document to this already existing project. And there you have it, projects. So that's a, an example of projects and how they can help you to organize things. And that's one more way that you can worry less and practice more.